Hey guys, so I just got back home from shopping and I might have bought like the entire of Primark, maybe. I will show you how bad it is. I have to stand really far back just to get them in. But yeah, two massive bags like that. But I got some really nice things and I probably can't make them all appropriate to sit here and like vlog them. Everything I got like I did um, with one of my hauls. Um, but if there's something that I like want to show you and stuff I'll maybe do that. It started raining again just as I was finished putting my false ivy outside um so yeah it was a good shopping trip i just wish i kind of like well i i don't regret anything i've bought i'm not like thinking oh i'll probably return stuff but it was a lot to carry <laughs> and especially when i was like getting on the bus and she gave me all these bags at first and i was like how am i going to get on the bus with these and she was like, oh, I can give you the massive plastic sacks and we'll put them in there. And I was like, are they even going to fit? And then I'm quite short. I'm like five, four, five, five. Um, and the bags are like really long. So me carrying them, they were like trailing on the ground. And I was meant to go to my mum's on the way back. Um, but I said, sir, I've got no idea idea how I'm going to get them up the street because the bus stopped at the bottom of her street so I ended up just going back into Blythe bus station and getting a taxi home <laughs> so yeah I haven't like overspent or anything and my money's away from my bills Dolly's here Dolly where are you? it's so hard to there you go what? What's them noises? It's so hard to like show you stuff when it's facing forwards. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unpack some stuff. Um, I've got presents for people as well, it's not all for me. And um might just get snuggled in bed with Grey's and at me and Dolly and some sweets because I'm shattered, like I had such a bad night, and then I went and done all that. So yeah, I think snuggles and bed are in order and then um, I'm going to sort my hair out because my roots are like coming through. Oh my god, it looks so bad on here. So yeah, I'm redoing it all. Even the blonde bit, I'm going to go a bit more blonde I think. Um, so I'll have a bit of a beauty session tonight and put a face pack on I reckon. Um, I've got a good week ahead, like lots of nice plans. I've got um, tomorrow I'm going to go over to my mum's for a little bit for lunch and then I'm going to go buy some Easter eggs for certain children who I'll be seeing this week. Um, and then there's, oh and then Lauren's coming over I think Wednesday night, she should be if she replies. And then Thursday... Thursday is Steph and little Jack. Um, yeah, gonna meet up with them. And because Steph was like amazing when I was in hospital on like the last overdose, um, my iPhone charger like broke, and I was ringing around all these people trying to see if someone could get me it, and like no one was up for it and then Steph went and did it and I was so chuffed and she came in to bring me it like onto the ward and um little Jack was coming after her and I was like oh really cheered me up seeing his little face and she says to him are we going to play with Auntie Amy next week and he's really excited so that'll be nice be nice to see them because I love Jack he's so cute and then that's Thursday and then Friday in the morning I'm gonna see Ellie and little baby Emmy and I don't know if Jonas is coming or not but yeah I've got 
Emmy like the cutest little sleep suit which I will actually show you guys that when I find it in all the bags um, and then Friday evening I'm going um, to see this place because like I'm under this community service called Richmond Fellowship um, and they run like a supported living place which is where the people who I see in the community are like based in this place so one of my community workers is going to take me there so I can like meet other staff and then I won't feel like um I don't know I won't be so skeptical about ringing the services like out of hours because I'll know who I'm speaking to and stuff so I'm gonna do that on Friday and then Saturday I've got an event in Newcastle a mental health thing um definitely gonna vlog that and then stay at my mum's Saturday night and getting a proper dinner on Sunday and then Easter eggs for pudding <laughs> um so that would be really nice as well to be at my mum's for the weekend and then she's gonna come back here and give Dolly her Easter present because apparently Dolly's got a present which means I now need to get Safi a present as well and I don't know what to get Safi because Safi's like 11 years old and she's so fussy like she has her toys and that's what she likes that's it nothing else whereas Dolly you give her a paper bag and she's like happy for hours so I'm gonna have to rack my brains to think of something Um. so yeah I'll I'll show you a clip of some stuff as I'm going through it and then I'll maybe vlog a bit later when I'm doing hair and face packs and stuff bye hey guys um I know I look a bit rude I've got a top on underneath this it's just trying to avoid getting bleach on myself um so I had a bit of a rough night last night um I got like a really bad thought and I don't know if so anyone watching this will know what I mean but um it's like it's different to having like a thought to hurt yourself um or like an urge to self-harm it's different it's just like this sudden stupid thought I say stupid because I'd never call self-harm like a stupid behaviour but this is just ridiculous like this thought um, and it was to go to the place where my trauma occurred and set fire to it with me inside of it um, so obviously I took um, some lorazepam and I rang me out of hours number that I've got and luckily my community worker was doing a night shift so she answered so she like could understand why it was so frightening to have that thought because I've never had a thought like that before and it was almost like I was begging her to like make sure that I didn't go and carry it out and she was saying to just like sit it out wait for my meds to kick in and take the rest of my medication so I would be like even more drowsy um, and while I was waiting for that I kind of felt like I had to punish myself for having such a bad thought like good people don't have thoughts like that so um, I hurt my knee which sounds weird because I'm basically like feeling bad about all the cutting now because it's taken forever to get rid of scars and especially like on my hand which is something like you know if you're going to take change from the shop or something they're going to see that like it's not like just wearing short sleeves I have to like keep my sleeve over my hand um so I think it was just like finding different ways to hurt myself physically um that didn't involve cutting so I just hurt my knee a bit um and I managed to get some sleep um and yeah, so today I went over to my mum's to borrow the internet connection. Um, and then I went into Blythe to the shops to get a few bits and pieces. Um, I got 
the memory card for my camera so sit down videos and stuff I'll be able to record on the actual camera and I think Lauren's gonna do a what's in your bag video with me um so yeah I got that got some treats from Morrison's and um, the GP called about something completely different but she asked me to come in and she had a look at my knee and said I needed some gel for it and then completely forgot to give me it because she was giving me like two other medications as well um, so I went and got my meds and then had a nap when I got back because I was absolutely shattered um, I had a lovely nap didn't want to get up but um, I had Lauren coming over and she just left a little bit ago um, and it was really nice like we just sat um, had a movie on but we didn't even really watch it properly because we were just talking like all the way through it and we had loads of treats and stuff um, popcorn and sweets and we actually like talked properly which is like <sighs> me and Lauren have never been like had a deep kind of friendship in the way that I wouldn't sit her down and be like Lauren I overdosed because I felt like this she'll like I might sort of say that it happened but she she wouldn't like ask why or what made me do it she'd be like oh Amy and support me like that but when I was telling her about last night and she was like what made you do that and I ended up telling her and it was really nice to be able to feel like I could do that with her now um, so yeah, it was a good evening and as you can see, I'm now doing my hair because I did the red yesterday and it's like took some of the um, blonde out from like, I mean I tried to just dye the top part of it and I've just realised I've like missed all this bit, never mind. Um, What was the same? Yeah, so I've had to go over my blonde again, get it a bit brighter and stuff. So I'm just doing that. Um, I'm writing a letter as well um, for my therapist because she's I wasn't meant to have an appointment with her today, but she's off sick. Um, and there's so much I like, need to say to her that I would probably either forget when I got to an appointment or chicken out of saying it. So I'm just going to write it all down and send it and then I, like that's it, she's got it, she's, she knows. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I um, had to cancel my plans with seeing Steph and Jack just because um, I'm struggling at night times and I'm not getting to sleep until stupid o'clock and I had to get up quite early to meet her if I was going to. So I've cancelled that so I'm just going to have a day in the house and try and get my college work done because if I could finish that tomorrow and send it off that would be perfect because then I don't have to worry for a while about starting the next unit. Um, I found out this morning actually that I passed my safeguarding and dignity course like all my levels of all my levels all my units have passed now so I've achieved that qualification. So yeah, I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to have a Skype with Chelsea, which will be nice, because she's got nothing on either. Um, and just chill around the house and be like really lazy, which will be lovely. I feel like I've been on the go for a while now. Um, and then um, I'm definitely going to the event on Saturday. And I've spoken with the guy that's organising it. Um, and he's going to sort of meet me before the event. To, um get me like a good place and stuff for the event and because he said that they'd really love for me to vlog and blog it so I will be doing that um the only thing is getting the video up because my mum's internet connection I found was really slow for uploading videos um and I'm going to his overnight on the Saturday so I will try, but I think it's going to be another trip to the library. I need to try and find somewhere more local, really, because it's 
Like the bus journey's alright, but it's just having to walk to the bus and, and I'm shattered when I get back and I've still got to walk. But I'll probably have to do it. Um, and then I've got a very exciting meeting next week and hopefully if it goes well I'll actually be able to tell you more about it and what's happening. So that's my little catch up with you guys. Um, if I don't film anything tomorrow on my lazy day, probably the next time I'll see you. I'd like to try and do a, a little mini vlog if um, Ellie and the kids are coming over. That would be nice. Um, and then if not, I guess I'll see you at the event on Saturday. So I hope you are all having a good week. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm not going to do it now that I'm recording. Ah. <laughs> she must be chasing some length. She's been doing this for about 20 minutes now. I'd love to know what she's dreaming about. I'm gonna think that she stopped and I'll stop recording and she'll do it again. Oh, good morning! <laughs> Hi, sleepyhead! Oh.